Hello, good morning students, welcome back to my class and today we will be doing Nizam Izikul's poem, most famous poem, The Night of the Scorpio. First let me give you a brief summary of this poem. <clears throat> in Night of the Scorpion, the speaker tells a story from his childhood in which his mother was bitten by a scorpion. The poem begins with a simple declaration. I remember the night my mother was stung by a scorpion. That is the line first and second. If you see, yeah, here you see. I remember the night my mother was stung by a scorpion. So the scorpion had entered the speaker's home because it wanted to hide from the rain. When it bit the speaker's mother, or you can say uh, when it stung the speaker's mother, it was hiding beneath a sack of rice. Chawal ke bore ke niche chupa hua tha wo. The speaker describes this incident in which the scorpion stings his mother without mentioning his mother at all. Instead, he focuses on the scorpion and what he did immediately afterward. That is, parting with his poison, flesh of diabolic tail in the dark room, he risked the rain again. So, so rather than stick around and look at the scene, he had caused the scorpion, <clears throat> he ran back. After the speaker's mother was bitten or stung by the scorpion, the speaker notes that poor people went to his mother's side like swarms of flies, buzzing with Christianity and hope to kill one of its visions of Saturn. That is, this may a Saturn ka roop liya hai, isne wo manta hai ke scorpion is a <coughs> is in the form of Saturn. Jaise apne yahan jo hote hai na, evil jo hote hai, Saturn, jaise apne Raman ko manta Ram or Raman, to Ram is God and uh, in place of Saturn we can place uh, Raman. So the peasants look for the scorpion on their hands <coughs> and knees with lanterns. It is a time when there was no electricity in the villages. So their wish is to find the scorpion quickly because they believe that every movement the scorpion makes without getting killed affects the speaker's mother. Now, this is uh, there is also superstition in this poem. He is referring to the superstition because people believe that if as the scorpion moves, the poison will also move and harm the mother. With every movement that the scorpion made, his poison moved. <coughs> Sorry. With every movement that the scorpion made, his poison moved in mother's blood, they said. The peasants begin to share good wishes for the speaker's mother, hoping that the scorpion will die that night, or at least sit still, that the sins of her past life will be burnt away, and that she may return to an even better life in the next life because of her suffering. This is also a religious belief. So in this, poet, in this poem, actually, we'll be having a lot of superstitions and religious beliefs. And the setting of this poem is an Indian village. The peasants continue making wishes for the speaker's mother, wishing that the forces of evil might be diminished by the speaker's mother's pain. And they sat on the floor around the speaker's mother, hoping that the scorpion's bite would purify her with the peace of understanding on each face. As more people came to visit <coughs> the mother, the speaker takes in his surroundings. And actually, this speaker is a small boy at the time when he was, when his mother was bit by a scorpion. So he is just remembering, remembering that scene, and he is remembering that more and more people came to visit his mother, and. More candles, more lanterns, more neighbors, more insects and endless rain. It was a rainy night actually. And the speaker's mother is oblivious to all this. And they spent all his time suffering and twisting on a mat. The mother was, she was suffering with pain. <clears throat> there was so much of pain because uh, when a scorpion bites, 
और यू कैन से वैन स्कॉपियन स्टिंग्स द बहुत डंक मारता है जब बिच्छू बहुत बहुत तेज़ दर्द होता है आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस इट माई सेल्फ सो आई कैन टेल यू दैट इट रियली पेंट्स वेरी बैड इट्स वेरी वेरी यू कैन से अनबेरेबल पेन दैट यू हैव एंड द सेंसेशन इज लाइक बर्निंग बर्निंग सेंसेशन सो दिस स्पीकर्स टर्न हिज अटेंशन टू हिज फादर who describes who he describes as a skeptic and a rationalist that is the speaker's father he does not believe in all these kinds of superstitions he is a skeptic that person who do not believe all these things and a rationalist and the speaker notes that even his father is making an effort to help his mother in any way that he knows how how to help her which means turning towards that which he wouldn't otherwise believe he is trying every curse every blessing powder mixture herb and all the hybrids whatever stuff people are doing he is actually letting them do this and the speaker's father even lit the bite <coughs> on fire in an attempt to remove the poison the speaker's mother suffered for 20 hours 20 hours that is the effect of this uh, stung sting actually remain for 20 hours her only response at the end of it was her gratitude that it didn't happen to anyone else in their family my mother only said thank god the scorpion picked me picked on me and spared my children so this is actually the beauty of the mothers you know because they always feel that whatever sufferings happen it happens to them and they are happy if their children and other family members are spared of it so this poem night of the scorpion it was published as a part of the exact name the name of the collection was the exact name you can say <coughs> the exact name it demonstrates a new and emerging aesthetic in ezekiel's poetry whereas his early poems conformed to a strict meter and rhyme later poems like night of the scorpion adopts a natural colloquial meter and tone that is uh, it is not a it does not have a perfect rhyme rhyme scheme This poem was published in a time when Ezekiel was making a deliberate attempt at formal innovation by using a loose seemingly free verse structure for his narrative poems. Now this is a narrative poems. Narrative poems are those poems which tell you a story or which tell you about any incident. So he is actually relating an incident uh when his mother was stung by a scorpion. So Ezekiel stopped putting capitals at the beginning of the each line which allows his later poems to flow much more easily on the page like when we see that normally the line begins with a capital letter so in this in this poem there are few lines which do not begin with capital letters <clears throat> the fact that Ezekiel distances himself from the formal poetic conventions does not imply a lack of care when it comes to the form of night of scorpion in fact isical makes deliberate choices about the line breaks and enjambments voice chronology and the tone in which this poem gives it the effect on the reader that made it so famous to begin with <clears throat> there is only one line break in this poem which occurs right after the speaker's mother is released from her suffering after 20 hours it lost its sting my mother only said thank god the scorpion picked on me and spared my children this line break is a literal break in the tension of the poem and endorses the conclusion with a quiet depth and the tension in the poem before the line break comes from two sources first that the speaker's mother is suffering with little prospect of relief and second the tension that the speaker holds between the personal crisis and a mocking social observation while the personal crisis is clearly on the surface of the poem 
the mocking social commentary is evident through the speaker's tone the speaker in this poem who inhabits a perspective between the little boy watching his mother suffer and the older man looking back upon the memory now actually what is he doing is now he is writing a poem when he is a grown up man wo jo ye kavita likh rahe hain wo bada aadmi ho ke ye kavita likh rahe hain और जब उसने वो इंसिडेंट देखा था उस समय वो छोटा बच्चा था सो वॉट दैट देर इज़ अ परस्पेक्टिव इज अ डिफरेंस इन द परस्पेक्टिव दैट एट दैट टाइम देर वॉज अ लिटिल बॉय हु वॉज वॉचिंग हिज मदर सफर एंड नाउ वेन द मैन इज राइटिंग ही इज लुकिंग बैक अपॉन दैट मेमोरी एंड ई रिलेट्स दीज इवेंट्स ऑफ द क्राइसिस इन अ काम एंड डिटैच मैनर and the casualness with which the speaker relays this scene is incongruous and even alarming for the reader even so the speaker moves slowly through the events of the poem in one long stanza without breaks unhurried it seems very it seems unbothered and this emotional detachment lets the poem speak directly to the reader who understands right away what ezekiel means without having to juggle emotional pain over over the suffering mother so when the speaker addresses the peasants we find a tone that we often see uh in Elis- in ezekiel's very sardonic and mocking gaze which is the gaze of an insider that is nonetheless distanced from the subject so here he actually in this poem ezekiel's irony dramatizes the peasants as well as the speaker's father superstition in their desperate attempts to save the speaker's mother and the speaker does not see the peasants in a positive light and instead compares them to a swarm of flies in their desperation to help his mother now there's a mixture of christianity and hinduism which allows for slight confusion as they pray to god for the mother's well-being yet they also hope for the best in their reincarnations <clears throat> jaise christians do not believe in reincarnation matlab punar janam mein vishwas nahi rakhte hain but we hindus we believe in reincarnation so the speaker highlights how futile their spiritual efforts were in helping his mother and he says <clears throat> in line 32 and 33 that my mother twisted through and through and groaning on a mat so while this perspective does reflect a slight elitism the speaker is looking down on the peasants for believing what they believe it also indicates the religious and cultural diversity that india holds so in this way night of the scorpion is quint essentially indian poem in that it shows the meeting of worlds through a sense of community ties after a specific disastrous event though night of the scorpion does not use the strict formal structure that ezekiel had used in his earlier poetry this does not mean that the poem is not rhythmic or musical the punctuation and enjambment of the lines cause the poem to flow in a large first stanza so finally this poem communicates a tension between urban living and the natural world that Ezekiel returns to again and again in his works the speaker's community which lives close together and keeps itself informed about its residents rose up in his work to surround the mother as she burned so actually in this poem the Ezekiel is trying to say about community life that how very close knit community it is and that people care for each other and when some calamity falls they are there with the speaker so the antagonist of the poem is the scorpion who is forgiven by the speaker very early on since he was indoors simply for survival he just 10 hours of steady rain had driven him to crawl beneath a sack of rice so in this way the true force of chaos and evil is the rain which drove the scorpion indoors and beats down upon the speaker and his family throughout this ordeal 
so this is a very interesting poem and actually uh, this poem reminds us of these uh, everyday life especially in the villages when it rains we can see a lot of scorpions and snakes which crawl inside the house and they can cause harm to the residents barsat ke time pe jaise bichhu aur saap kai bar gharon mein ghus jate hain aur fir wo un ghar walon ko koi bhi nuksan pahuncha sakte hain so this poem is about that so in this first part actually i've given you the summary of the whole poem and i've also given you the text so please go through this text so i hope you will understand because the language is not very difficult and uh, you will be able to understand it and from my next sessions i'll take the next session and i'll give you a line by line explanation of the poem so thank you for watching the video till the end we'll meet again bye